Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro here. Okay, so I'm a, I would like to go over workflows in this episode. So you're going to be learning how to create an RPG Maker workflow. Okay, so before we get started, I would like to make sure that you guys actually have what you need. Um, in the description, there's a link to my website with a template that you can download. It'll be this uh, template here, as soon as I can open it. There we go. It'll be this template right here. And basically it comes with uh, yellow star, white star, uh, basically what those mean is like yellow is complete, white is incomplete. And it comes like these little bar things you can copy and paste to kind of drag along. And you got this little divider, or splitter, not divider. Alright, so um, let's go ahead and begin. Firstly, I've created a large image. It's 2560 by 1600. Very important that you create a large image because you will find yourself running out of space pretty quick. Uh, if you don't have workflow software, this is what I'm. This is what this tutorial is all about. If you don't have that kind of software, you can. You know, I'm pretty sure there's free software out there, but you know, you can also do this with an image editor. Uh, I'm using the GIMP. It is completely free. You can get it on GIMP.org. So let's start from. Let's start from the very center of it all. Let's uh, just zoom out by holding Control and scrolling down, and you're gonna press. You're gonna hold Control and press V. Uh, if you're wondering how I copied this, you select it with the select tool which is right over here and you press control C or you can right click go to edit copy I just prefer control C and to paste it again it's control V if you zoom all the way out it's going to find whatever you copied in your clipboard and it's going to slam it right in the center so this is gonna be where everything is so we're gonna have our game title here we're, uh, make sure you select the white color down here so you can read your font um, I'm going to be dragging all this kind of in the middle-ish. doesn't have to be exactly right, <clears throat> but we need to scale this a little bit. I have it centered, as you can see right here. You can click right here if you want to center it. And we're going to name our, we're going to name our game. Let's name it, I don't know, The Emperor's Adventures. I don't know, um, you can get whatever your title is for your game. You can also underline it if you wanted to, and, but I don't know. I don't really feel like making it fancy, but you can. You can choose like different colors. You can do anything you want with an image editor. That's the glory of it. It's the beauty of it. So now we got the game title. So we're we're gonna mark that as complete. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay, we need to make a new layer for this. Nothing to it. Just put a little star. Somewhere in the corner there. Now we're going to branch it up here. We're going to branch it off up here. And above us, we are going to have. We're gonna we're gonna make the entrance or the in the beginning event. That's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> we're gonna make the beginning event. So let's go ahead and copy one of these bars. You don't have to select it directly. And if you want to center the bar, you just simply put it right there like that. And you just press Control C, Control V. Now you can just keep pressing Control V and you can move it up however high you want. I'm just going to keep it at the default length and we are going to copy another box like this. And we're going to put it right here, right in the center. So now, you know, you see you got two little workflow boxes that are pretty, pretty nice looking. And by the way, I did make a small mistake here. You see in the white background, I'm, uh, I made the box right here in the background. We're going to fix that. You don't want to do that. You want to make these boxes in new layers, as you see me just do just now. So I'm going to copy that on this layer. So now, and I'm going to move this text up. There we go. And now I can just press delete on the keyboard, and it'll repaint all this white. That's important because we're going to have the oh, we're going to have the background there later. Okay, so now we are going to uh, add more stuff. So here's the event. Here's the opening events. So what what's going to be happening? Uh, during the opening events, first we are going to make the title. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be directly centered again. I mean, as long as it's organized for you, and as long as you feel it's good, then go for it. Yeah. Opening. Wait. I spell opening. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I joke. I joke. Not seriously. I spell opening. I'm kidding. Hey, don't blame me, man. <laughs> okay, so opening events. All right. Um. So what are we, we going to have? We are going to have player starts at something. We're Okay, so yeah, here we go. We're going to say start map, the idea of the map. So there we go. There's our start map. 
as far as events, let's see, dialogue, and then we, maybe we can have like the dialogue like over here. So, okay. let's have maybe uh, a, a battle during the first opening, uh, after like some cutscenes or something, like it shows a player running from somebody or something like that, and then gets it into a battle. Player runs, battles, bad guy. Alright, so now we are going to go back to... No. Okay, so now we are going to go back here. And we are going to copy this direction now. We're going to go back to this layer. I'm going to actually... My... English. I'm actually going to name this layer. <laughs> uh, it's going to be called... It's going to be called... How? Where can I find the name thing? What? Oh, edit layer attributes. That's right. It's going to be called stuff. Okay, you know, I actually need to be a little less. Okay, you know what? There. That's better. Stuff, evil, angry cat smiling. So now we're going to paste this thing. We are going to have it directly in the center there. Again, you can, you can, you can extend the length by pressing paste again and just drawing over it somewhere. I'm going to keep the default. As I said. Now, onward to copy another box. Alright. Over here, we are going to have the dialogue. And uh, since it's not, you know, like a main thing, I'm actually going to have the title of it kind of over here, where the star would normally be. And now, I'm going to put the dialogue in the box like so. What? I have no idea what I'm talking about anymore. I don't know, I'm just trying to be random so you guys don't get bored during this recording. So let's see. What's up? Okay. Yo, homie. My pickle done. Uh, got sour on me. Let's battle. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, everybody's pickle gets sour eventually. And that sounds very, very wrong. In many ways, it does. It sounds so wrong, and yet so... Right, well, it, no, it doesn't sound right. It sounds very wrong. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, so I'm going to now branch this off up here. Like I call it branching. Like I don't know if that's actually the term, but I call it branching. Like a tree. How a tree branches. Because it's cool and is a tree. Come on now, don't do this. Thank you. There we go. Drag that up a little bit. Oh, it's too lazy to go back to the other image, so I'm just copying the box now. This way. So this is where he battles. So we're going to say battle begins. A B. Okay. In the middle. So now we're going to make uh, the battle troops. Like, who he's fighting, basically. So I'm going to center that. Again, does not have to be perfect. Even though I'm kind of being picky about it right now. Does that look centered? Yes, it does. Okay, so now we're going to say pickle so I don't know, soldier. Some kind of soldier. Soldier and his waffles. Yes, you get attacked by a soldier and his waffles. Because it's legit. As for the background, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to change that real quick. I'm just going to make a small gradient. By small, I mean incredibly large. So that's just, I'm just going to have a gradient so it doesn't look white and like blind, y'all. So that's basically how we do the workflows. And let's see. Hmm. Yes, he battles soldiers and his two waffles. After the dialogue says, Yo, homie, my pickle done got sour on me. That's better. That's like the whitest ghetto talk I've ever heard. Anyways, um, okay. What was I going to do? Okay, we still got this thing copied. It's good, but that is kind of irrelevant. Okay, I'm gonna actually going to hold that off for a while. And uh, my star vanished. Oh, well. Uh, get another star. You're soon. Yeah, once you actually got a few workflow um, 
template things in, it actually becomes a lot simpler to copy them. Because if you wanted to make one that goes over here, for example, you would just copy this thing. And we're going to drag it down. And we're going to go here. We're going to press Control C. Make sure it's all copied. Control C, and we're going to press Control V. And there you go. Now you have an instant, a much quicker thing. So at, when you first start doing it, yeah, it's a little bit slow, but it gets a lot faster. You know, because you're able to, uh, like, you're able to kind of copy both the bars and the box at the same time without having to worry too much. You know, and it's not going to be like slowing you down because you don't have to copy the bar, copy the box. You just kind of do it all at once. Uh, you just find whatever direction you want to branch it off, and there you go. So now I'm going to create. Uh, let's see. Well, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this one again. We're going to have something that goes over here. I don't know. From now on, like I guess I'm done showing you basically how to set up the text because you you already know how that works. So. When you branch things off and like you kind of lead it to the other thing, make sure it's related to that category. So let's say we have, okay, I'm just going to get all sloppy now. Let's say you have classes over here. Um, and after the opening events, like something else happens over here. Or maybe you have show choices. So choices, so like say you have uh, yes and no. Okay, so you have yes and no. If yes, here's where you can actually use the coloring uh, to, to kind of determine. I'll show you how to do that actually right now. So if yes, we're going to go up. What? Oh, I copied the wrong uh, event layer. That's why. Oops. <laughs> yeah, you will, you will end up with a bunch of text events. If you want, you can select them all by... Um, oh, no, you can't. Never mind. I thought you could select them all. Well, I'm a herp. So much for a professional. I guess that's why I'm called the Umper Pro. And I left a little pixel here, man. You're not supposed to do that. But I did. Because I'm the Umper Pro. Okay. Copy that again. Now, if yes, I'm going to change the colors right now. I keep babbling, but I'm not doing anything. Alright, let's do it. So see where it says yes. You gotta find your you gotta find your uh, things. I am so professional right now, aren't I? So yeah, we're going to name yes red. That's a very bright red. <coughs> Excuse me. There I go sneezing. Okay, and no would be blue. So now I'm going to go ahead and find the red color. You can find them. The two colors you recently selected will be right here. So we're going to do... We're going to select red, and I'm going to click these little arrows to kind of, like, switch them, and I'm going to select blue on this one. So now, if I were to use the paint tool, and let's see, paint here, it would paint it all red. But if I hold control, it paint it all blue. What we're going to do is we're just going to simply use the color effect, which I'm going to show you right now. Branch right there, perfect. Make sure it's, make sure all of it is selected. Select your paint tool, and we're going to go to mode. We're going to click normal, and you're going to go to color. Now, there's your new color box. And when no, we are going to go no. Okay, I had to do that. I had to do that because, like, my friend Jared used to do that, and it was amazing. Okay, enough of the uh, random ADHD-ness. <laughs> you're going to go here, and we're just going to go back to your paint tool. Select color again. Make sure it's on color. Make sure it's... FG, you can just hold control, and there you go, now you got the blue. I'm blue. Okay, so there's the there's the other example of what I was trying to tell. What am I talking about? Okay, so anyways, there's how you would do, yes, choices, you can do um, other things like the colorings and all stuffs. But as for this, this is the, the end of this uh, tutorial, so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, find them stars and show you guys how that looks with stars uno dos tres that's the most perfectly positioned stars you've ever seen there we go what that was the best spanish in the world 
thing ain't enough. Yeah, I forgot the rest. You know what? Let's have classes be complete, because you know what? Shh. It's complete. The classes are just space. These are incomplete, so we are going to mark them incomplete. If you want, what I recommend doing, actually, even though I'm not doing it here, is making your stars on a new layer. Because that way you can, you know, change them from incomplete to complete. Or, you know, you can simply just replace it by zooming in a lot, if you wanted to. I made sure to, I don't know, I guess it's kind of convenient that it's not, it doesn't have a alpha, like, pixels, the blurries, so that way you can't replace it. But yeah, you can replace it quite easily. So say if you wanted to replace the gold star, if you complete it. Kablam, that's done. Mercy. And yeah, so there's the there's how you do a template or uh, a workflow. So yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching this and putting up with my randomness <laughs> and unprofessionalisticisms. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.